and welcome everybody here in Twitch Chance and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Esper Mill. That's right, we're going to be milling out our opponents very slowly with this Esper control deck based around Dovin's Acuity. Uh, this was the list that the Kaios played from our sub battle stream yesterday. If you got to catch that, it looked really impressive. And so we're going to be trying it out ourselves. So yeah, we're playing you know an Esper Acuity deck here. So this enchantment, every time we play, in, you know, it's gain two life, draw a card, and every instant we play during our main phase, we get to bounce this Acuity back to our hands. We get to recast it all the time. So basically, we want to just stop the early aggression and get to the late game because our deck is going to win the late game. We just need to get there. Uh, that's the hard part. So as you can tell, we got just tons of removal in here. That's what our deck's all about. And then in the late game, we have our our card engine and really our, our main milling source is Bond of Insight. So each player puts the top four cards of their library into their graveyard, and then you can return up to two instant or sorcery cards from your graveyard to your hand. So we get to pick and choose exactly what we need to uh, stabilize, you know, like at that point, do we need a Kai's Wrath? Do we need to just gain some life and draw a card? Uh, do we need to get rid of some Planeswalkers? Do we need to just draw tons of cards? You know, we can do that too. We need to, you know, gain some more life with Enter the God Eternals. Also, another milling source for us. So Bond of Insight is just really cool. Um, of course, you do have to exile the Bond of Insight, so you can't just, like, continually chain them back to back to back, like, keep returning the same ones over and over again but uh we're still going to be casting like basically every bond of insight because if we mill one over we'll we'll bring it back and and do that so it's like much better than draw two because like the selection that you get here is really good so the other good part about playing this esper mill deck you know built around dovin's acuity is that we're not building you know not, basically the good part about not building our deck around planeswalkers of like having to just have to ferry out there and just draw a card every single turn is that we get to play all these cleansing novas also. So any problematic permanents that are out, just get rid of them. Unless they're lands, I guess. But besides that, get rid of all of the other permanents that can be problematic. Um, so yeah, like we're a real slow control deck. Uh, we got Mirari Conjecture in here. Bounce um, or bring back some instants and sorceries again and be able to double cast stuff. Uh, this is a, a nice... This is a pretty nice deck. This is a really well put together deck. I like it a lot. Um, we have we have the Masterminds Acquisition in here also. So if we need anything else, you know, if we need to shuffle our graveyard or, you know, we just need any of these uh, specialized cards, we can go find them with our Masterminds Acquisition. I'm not sure about this Nezahal, but oh well, it's in the deck. But yeah, this looks like a pretty sweet one. So we can, so uh, game one, so you may have thought like, well, you know, like uh, Nexus of Fate. Like, if we're trying to mill, like, how can we get rid of, you know, Nexus of Fate? Well, that's why we have to have this Masterminds Acquisition in here, so that Acquisition can go grab on more Ego against Nexus of Fate and be able to exile them. And even, of course, if we, uh, if the Acquisition gets discarded or anything like that, we can bring it back with Bond of Insight or Mirari Conjecture, so we're good to go there. All right, but let's let's go ahead and get to the games here. Let's play some Esper Mill. Um, the plan against Field of the Dead. Uh, let's choose our deck. So the the plan is what Ego plus Ashiok. Well, Ash, like against like the the Soul Tie Field of the Dead decks where Ashiok doesn't really. I guess like Ashiok can maybe exile some. Like if if you try to you know just mill some over, hopefully with some of our mill stuff, and then exile them. But, um, but yeah, we may have to do some some wraths and everything. Yeah, Caesar, you can go ahead. We're not trying to mill that fast, so yeah, we don't we don't have like besides the one Ashiok in the main deck, we don't have cards that all they do is mill and they don't trade for spells. Like we we are a control deck that is. Um, Ugh. that's just filled with cards that are <clears throat> ones that, that do trade for spells besides this one Ashiok I kind of want to put the Ashiok back because I don't really like it but I guess we're supposed to put back Cleansing Nova or sorry Planar Cleansing I guess we're supposed to put this back
I don't need to cast opt right now. My hand is pretty reasonable. I just want to minus on minus on me one time because of bond of inside. I'm not gonna continually minus on me. I just want to do it the one time. Wow, Ashiok's broken. Best card in the deck. Just like I said the whole time. Okay, let's bring back Bond of Insight and Acquisition. I know, Acquisition's kind of slow. May need... That's fine. All right, well, we do need white mana. Could have grabbed opt to look for white mana. I go to acquisition for white mana. That's pretty silly. Like a Mirari Conjecture. Yeah, I'm just gonna Mirari Conjecture. And we should be able to find white mana with opt here. Wait, what? Have to sacrifice a permanent? Huh. Where's white mana? Well, life could be a little better. Oh, yeah, I had to kill the 1-3. I forgot about the second one. Oh, no. I was thinking, you know, I'm just so used to uh, the 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 regular 2-3 dinosaur that gets Marauding Raptor, where I was just going to kill this 8-5, this and I was just going to mortify the 8-5. Uh, yeah, that's... All right, well, I might as well just kill this one.
Should have just masterminds acquisition for a white source a long time ago. Where's our lands at? Or just killed that 1-3 a long time ago. Yeah, I got... I was not expecting that 8-5. That was not a card I was expecting. At all. Do we even have enough white sources in here? Yeah, we have a lot of white sources. We have 18. It's more than... That's a little bit more than I thought. I was thinking we are going to have like 16 or something. All right, so we have two rats we're going to bring in. We're going to cut this Elder Spell. We're going to cut, I guess just, yeah, we'll cut the Cry of the Carnarium for like the hard rats. Um, get rid of Ashiok. Ashiok doesn't do anything. All right, well, one of you cards does something. I guess this thing blocks. That card does something. No, Ego doesn't do anything. I don't want that card. Where's our lands? Okay, we got two lands. Um. So like finales, like draw two on four mana, draw three on five mana. I think I'm gonna take that over acquisition. I guess they could have two mana or less creatures in their deck. No, I just want lands. Alright, gonna opt here. Oh yeah, we have Acuity. That card's great. Oh, this card's awesome. This is a way to hit land drops right here. Alright, now, now we're going. Now we got a deck. Here we go. Love it. We have so much white mana now. Oh no! Hmm. Yeah, we'll get some blue. We'll mortify this phoenix and then untap Kaya's Wrath. May just enter the God Eternals, the token, actually, to save Kaya's Wrath for a Carnage Tyrant. I guess we need blue, though, for that. Blue. Blue. <laughs> Alright, I guess Kaya's Wrath. Uh, no white last game, now no blue. <laughs> this is tough. Yay, blue. Uh. 
Okay. Nether Hall. All right, perfect time for Enter the God Eternals. Whatever dinosaur they want, they're putting it on top of their library, and we're going to just mill it over. Yeah, we got this one. Just uh, Pwn stack's pretty sweet, though. Wait, what am I doing? I should definitely attack with this thing. Polyraptor? That's pretty sweet. Hmm. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Pay two life for seven. We got life to spare. Yeah, I can't, can't mulligan the seven. No mulligans. No mulligans allowed. All right, so again, we'll Mortify Phoenix, uh, Chump Block this Avatar, untap Kaya's Wrath. They get gain a life. Don't forget that trigger. need to mill out our opponent before us, I suppose. Mm. Sure. So we're at 24, they're at 30. Ooh, Marari Conjecture. No. Boo. These crushing canopies. They're crushing canopying. My soul there. All right, let's get let's just get opt opt. That was a heck of a mill four. Okay. So we're looking for our acquisition, right?
We have an acquisition in here, right? Okay, good. Whoops. I meant to just play that land. I didn't want to discard that land. Uh, where is this acquisition at? Oh, it's way down there. Alright, it's doable. It's doable. Yeah, we got rid of it from the opener. Four cards left. That's a lot of cards still. I'm not going to pick up these acuities right now. Oh, these are all black white lands. It's good tapping. This is a May. Um, I'm just going to decline. Y'all can chill there. I guess I could go Jace. I forgot we had Jace. I was just planning on getting clear of the mind. I guess we go Jace. Don't worry. This is all just an illusion. Let's think this through. Alright, well I guess we mill ourselves sometimes too. <laughs> so sometimes mill them, sometimes mill us. You never know. Could go either way. Could, maybe we'll just mill us both. That's the real plan, to mill us both. Hey, Parachute, with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much for that support. I appreciate it. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, bet, yeah, definitely better looking than the Mox deck that, that I tried building a deck with the Mox Amber. That one didn't work too well. The Mox Amber... Uh, Karn's Temporal Sundering deck. Ooh, that's a rough hand. Okay, well, they drew that, that land, so they need... 4, 12, 8, 7, and 6. Those are some mana costs right there. They're legal mana costs. I, hmm. So options that I'm considering... I kind of want to just grab the Jace now, just to just to uh, draw some cards, but I guess it's going to die to the Star of Extinction, though. It'll just be a card advantage engine until that. That's a little ways away. I love a good 
good for muscle. This will come in handy. I'll have to erase that. Mm. I want to hit land drops. That's why I always grab the J. So I was like, this will this will probably help me hit land drops. Um, I can't fit you in my hand. Where are lands at? Yay, land. Drug. There we go. Welcome. So I have number eight on the day. Hey, what's up, bro? Back. No. Oh yeah, the yeah the Soulite Treachery deck is real spicy. Of course, whenever you miss decks, you can always find them on the YouTube channel, so you can also see it there. But yeah, that's maybe my favorite deck right now. It's how you play the hand you're dead. Does five damage to an oh, just does five damage to a creature? Why did I use a removal spell on this thing like that first game? That probably cost me. Yeah, 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 it's my go. And he lands. Sure. Um. Yeah, I'll take you too. Yay, land. I'm just gonna be discarding the Legion's End. I guess I can play this thing. No. I should have taken the second one. I should have left the second one there. But yeah, Legion's End can definitely go. And I guess Bond of Insight. We'll just put it back in our hand with another Bond of Insight. Later. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if there's other obvious ones. Uh, as far as, like, you know, for crafting for Historic before they go away. Um, some obvious ones are, like, the... Like the red cards, like Goblin Chain Let's Whirler, Rampaging Ferocidon. Um, like the other cards from like Mono Red, they're leaving. Like Mono, like Mono Red's definitely going to be a historic deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight mana. Yeah, five mana to fairy, search for his canta. Those are some good ones too. We're gonna have like a month of historic that will be around. It's a matter of give and take. Before. Oh, I'm. I'm a long ways away from casting this. I'm three man away from casting this finale. Mm. Sorry, we're gonna have a month of like historic before it changes to being uh, like where. It takes two WoW cards to use for one historic card, so you'll have you'll have a little bit of time there also, so you don't have to like panic buy stuff right now. As well, you'll have a little bit of time to wait. There's always an answer. Turns out when my opponent doesn't actually play anything. It doesn't really make my life easier.
So I need two more mana. Before I can cast this finale so I don't have to worry about discarding anymore. So now one more mana, right? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. I guess if I was, like, taking up on myself this whole time, I would have milled myself out probably, like, already by casting this finale. I just want to mill the opponent. Nah, Bond of Insight's amazing. Did I already cast Mastermind's Acquisition? Oh yeah, I did, didn't I? Alright, so we're going to have to get back Mastermind's Acquisition. This that was like the card I was digging for, and now I realize that we already cast it. We can do 10, right? I'm just going to go under the good faith assumption that we can do 10 here, without actually checking. Sweet. Right, that thing shuffles and everything. Wow, that card does a lot of stuff. All right, well, what else do we want to do over here? We can cast this thing. All right, your turn. Look like a Neo, Neo brand deck. Yeah, this would be a really good time for Omniscience. Dang. I really should be like ticking up on myself even Always still with having Bond of Insight. But, oh well. I'm trying to get this slow burn here. We're, I've got him down to 23 more cards. Yeah, I'll put these back. Don't have to worry about discarding. This is good magic right here. Play this thing. Play this thing. Oh, dang, we are on the clock. We're at 8 minutes, they're at 23. Oh, I'm doing so much stuff. Alright, I guess I need to play faster. Alright, uh, did I already play a land? I did. Alright, there's Acquisition. What am I doing with Acquisition right now, anyway? I mean, I guess I should... I... Could... Kind of mill myself out, but I guess I don't want to now. Alright, I don't know what I'm doing with you, but we're going to get something from the sideboard. I mean, I don't really need clear the mine now. I, I guess, ooh, you. Alright. Alright, we found a reason for Ashiok. Actually speeds up the whole winning process. Nope, not you. You. Gotta gain more life. <laughs> no, you don't really need Kaya. I mean, you can't one-shot people with Kaya. You have to, like, play Kaya and have Kaya out for a few turns also. All right, what do I have? I have 18, they have 17. All right, I'm winning. Card-wise. Let's both mill four. Choose cards? Nah, I don't want cards. 
Better go faster. <laughs> Arena can't handle this. Where's my other bond of insight? Cast that. No four. Uh, I'll take you. They're at nine. I'm so close. All right, they got one card. I got 10. I have so many cards. My poor opponents to sitting here taking, sitting here through all this. They have 23 minutes left on their clock. I have five. What a jerk. Yeah, Arena couldn't handle showing 40 cards in hand. Yeah, so did they have infinite Polyraptors, right? Yeah, they would have had infinite Polyraptors. No, because then the other Polyraptors would have died. But it'd still keep on making more Polyraptors, but then they would keep dying. I guess with that, that would just be a, a draw, right? If they have that Forerunner in play and then cast Polyraptor. Isn't that just a draw? Oh no, an aggro deck. Ooh, Kaya's Wrath. All right, so I don't want to see a Danto. Yeah, good, not a Danto. All right, now we need another land. Oh, Forerunner deals damage to itself. Okay, so then it dies, okay. It deals damage to itself also. All right, cool. But the, the Marauding Raptor is an infi with Polyraptor, though. I guess I can't risk that thing either. Maybe I should have just played Acuity last turn. I mean, I'd love to be able to play Acuity here. Just too much damage. Sweet. Hard fought win. All right, so Ashiok's gone. We don't even have like anti-aggro stuff, do we? I guess we have these things. Surprised we don't have like more Legion's ends in the sideboard. Kaios, what do you usually do here? Yeah, I think I want to keep Elder Spell for Soren. Um. No, if you have Ferocidon already, you don't have to recraft it. No, that's. I don't think recrafting is a thing. What am I cutting?
All right, I guess I'm not playing the Cryo Carnarium. I guess I'm just taking out the Ashiok for Settle, and that's it. I can see cutting to Spark. I mean, they they have they'll have like the three four and the four four. They'll have like two targets. I can see getting rid of it though. And they probably have Gideon after sideboard, so maybe I want this extra Elder spell for Gideon also. Yeah, he, yeah, you could still get Ferocid on even though it was banned. Like you could open up Ferocid on in booster packs. Yeah, or yeah, like drafting it. Yeah, because it's still legal in draft. Defeating you will not bring me pleasure. Nor pain. Our fates thirst for life. All right, this is going to be a little tough. Should I mill myself with Enter the God Eternal since I have Bond of Insight? Or should I mill Soren over here? Mill them. mill ourselves. Cool. Mill yourself. Yeah. <laughs> really? Do you want to try, like, yeah, I don't know, sacking again and sacking again? Cool. That's for mill. Yeah, or looking for like an elder spell or something to deal with that Soren. Alright, we'll get rid of a fortress. I think I like having all three of these cards. And we'll leave it with the Temple of Skrylance. Uh, Mortify is good too, but I think I want land. Like I like I like having these three cards. You know, we'll just play the Acuity on three, so we don't really need Mortify. All right, that worked out. Mortify does pick up Acuity, though. <clears throat> oh, is this... Oh, no. This looks like Nexus. Like, we needed that Mortify. Oh, okay. Dispark's good. That gets rid of Reclamation as well. Obviously, Planar Cleansing does some work, too.
Give me that. Oh yeah, acuity is awesome. Card so good. Hmm. So we need to find Masterminds Acquisition, Acquisition for I think I might just cast the Bond of Insight here. Yeah, let's just cast Insight. We'll get back two ops. Or maybe something better. Maybe we find Acquisition. Mortify opt, I'll take it. Um. Because <laughs> if we can just uh, go get on board ego and then ego. Ego Nexus. Game one, that should be good. Yeah, I'm going to keep open. Now we're at the point. I, I am going to be keeping open Dispark and Mortify. I'm not going to be tapping out now. I'm not going to like. I guess I could I guess I could opt and put acuity back in my hand right now and still have Dispark. Cuz yeah, they can just just combo. They could just be sitting back sculpt in their hand and then just immediate combo. Time out used. I'll just pass. Yeah, it does kind of feel like we could have a second Masterminds in here, doesn't it? Because we're always looking, like, it's like always like the most important card to find after we stabilize. You know, like, the, that's the thing. It's like stabilizing is like the most important. But then after we stabilize, it's the next. I don't really like this card, honestly. It shortens, like, it does, like, what their deck wants to do. It shortens their deck to be, you know, like, all Nexus, basically. So I don't like it yet. If we get rid of Nexus, then, then we want it. Uh, yeah, it's it's kind of like playing Tamio for them. The thing is, of course, you can you can get fortunate and mill out all their win conditions. You know, if you if you do exile their win conditions, but they could also just have like the win conditions in hand. That you know, it's not guaranteed that you do that. That would be like the best that Ashiok can do, though. But um, 
the more usual scenario is make it so all they have are nexuses and then they just take all the turns. Yeah, I guess we could mill ourselves. Could do that with, with just having... I mean, now we have the Bond of Insight, too. We could just mill ourselves, but... I just want a different card. I'm glad we have Bond of Insight instead. Alright, so at this point of the game, I kind of feel like I need both removal spells, Mortify and to spark up. So we'll wait one more turn. We'll Bond of Insight next turn. And I'm just going to keep 5 mana up. Because if I don't, they can still just like Reclamation, Reclamation. I don't know. They can, they can do some crazy stuff. And plus, we always have to watch, because, you know, they can just, like, end step Nexus, and then they get two turns. And so having the two spells up can can help. Uh, yeah, who knows? We may be going to time. Let's see, 24, where I'm at. Okay, I'm up, I'm up a minute. That's good. I mean, I should be doing this end step. No, stop. There we go. We'll see what they got this turn. All right, just take an extra turn. That's not bad. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, not bad, not bad. Mortify kills as can't you know kills both of their enchantments. Like I want that. It doesn't get rid of Tamio, but. Yeah, they just had they just had their their time. They didn't do anything else. I'll play this too. 
<laughs> this deck is gas. Yeah. Uh, how do we mill with like Bond of Insight? No, this is bad. Bad play. Bad play. Bad play. Oh no, I, I completely regret playing this. Oh, that was a really bad play. Not punished? Who? Not punished. I just set myself up for Nexus. Wrecking me. Yeah, gas means good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can't even do like finale for ten. What if I leave five cards? No, let's just cast this thing. So I can play one of these and then leave up six mana. I don't think we played a land this turn, so I would I would like to I'd like to hit a land drop. Eh, heck, they haven't been able to do anything the last couple of turns anyway. We'll just have one mortify up. Yay, land. Uh, yeah, I guess we take land. The thing is, I'm not really using the third chapter of Mirari Conjecture here. Hmm. The moon looks intriguing tonight. Seek and find. No, you just have to have... Yeah, you just need that top 1,000 token. Uh, just one month in between since the last ar the arena event. You don't need it, like, every single month. Like So, like, the the Mythic Championship Qualifier, there was one last month. So either this past, this past month or next month or probably the month after that, just get that token one time in there. Yeah, this could be game. I haven't really been able to find acquisition at all. We've seen all but 18 cards. I haven't found it though. The past is never forgotten. Yeah, if you, yeah, so if you got one in August, you don't have to get one again this next month. So yeah, it looks like unlikely that we get another turn with Tamio here. That is true. If we do get another turn, we probably just win the game if we get another turn. But it doesn't look like we're going to get another turn. Like with the third chapter, and then we'd finally have the finale for 10. And then, because, yeah, we'll be able to draw 20. Which So we'd be able to draw our, our deck. Yeah, like, we win if we get another turn. But I don't think we're getting another turn. Unfortunately, Elder Spells, Sorcery Speed, Planar Cleansing, Sorcery Speed, all this stuff, Sorcery Speed. I think you all these things that dealt with Tamiyo. No, we're not getting another turn. It's impossible for them to whiff now. Too much Sorcery Speed stuff. All this Planeswalker removal of Sorcery Speed. We don't have, like, Noxious Grasps. Ugh. 
Mortal Sun could help, I guess. He wants to clear the mind them. Maybe. We don't need Cry, these Wraths. I want that Contempt. Give me that Contempt back. These things. I mean, they may just bring in a bunch of plant, uh, creatures, though. I mean, Revitalize just puts Acuity back to our hand and also helps us hit land drops. Re revitalize isn't useless. I should probably keep some removals in. I guess I got Planar Cleansing. Yeah, Nova's good. I can get rid of enchantments too. All right, had to do the sideboarding kind of quick. Hopefully, we didn't miss anything. I don't want this Ashiok at all, but oh well. Crap, Dragon Lord. And Price of Betrayal can get rid of. Could be a one mana removal spell for um, Hydroid Crisis, I suppose. So we have a five card hand here of four lands acuity. We have to mill ourselves with Ashiok. We can't mill our opponent. Oh gosh, another planar cleansing. That was not a draw I wanted to have right there at all. I should have taken out this Ashiok. I mean, I guess it helps us find. Or just put stuff in our graveyard. Ooh, we got Bond of Insight. Alright, now Ashiok will do stuff. Focus, I have just the trick for this. Hey, Warheart. This is my masterpiece. I should have played Hallowed Fountain, but it doesn't matter. Thanks so much for that Twitch Prime sub there, Warheart. Meditate and prepare. We have a lot of awkward cards here for this matchup, but that's just kind of how it is. And I think that's fine. Um, you know, Nexus is just not that popular of a matchup. It's not one that we're, like, trying to... Like, the deck isn't specifically trying to beat Nexus. And, and you know, that game one, we went through... 38 cards in our deck. We didn't find acquisition. I think from playing this this game, or sorry, this deck, it does feel like another acquisition would really be useful. That's my biggest takeaway so far. Is that Master, Mastermind's acquisition has been so vital just to try to find, but so difficult to find, because there's just one in the deck. Please miss. Uh, well, that's probably it. Then. Yeah, I think we did. We need them to miss there. Go 
We can't beat Ascanta. Seek shelter in my stewardship. Be wary of the ground you walk on. To the library. Yeah, turn five kill this time for them. They had a lot better hand than they had the first time. That's a, a game one we probably need to win, though. Trying, I'm just trying to concede. All right, two and one. No, we didn't have any interaction. Um, there was, you know, like the very first scry was an elder spell that I put to the bottom that could have killed the Narset. Too many sorcery speed cards for that matchup, but for basically all the other matchups, it's fine. That's not one that we can have. All that, because they get to just, you know, the late game, they get to just drop their cards, like as we saw there, just drop a Tamiyo and, and win the game. And we don't get to untap and use, planes, you know, Sorcerer Speed, Planeswalker Removal. All good, though. Alright, we'll wait on this opt for the security. I don't think that's really true, TME. Saying a deck like this doesn't have the tools to beat Nexus with consistency. Chandra, you need more control. The thing is, if our deck wanted to beat Nexus, we could. But Nexus is just a really small part of the metagame. There's absolutely the tools in the in these colors in like a control deck like this to beat Nexus with a very, very high consistency. But that's not really the target that was built here. That could be playing a lot more Disparks, Mortifies, Noxious Grasps. You know, could be playing a lot more Instants that deal with all their permanents. Um, you know, could be playing a lot more Counter Magic, Hand Disruption. Obviously, the Egos could have more of those. Like, you know, the deck could just be built on that. Well, Risen Reef's just powerful enough that we have to get rid of it so they don't draw lots of cards every turn with Chandra here. <clears throat> don't worry. I brought company. Yeah, then of course, obviously three man to fairy as well. We're hoping our opponent plays a lot more elementals here, like maybe two or three creatures. Not Risen Reef, though. Does that draw so many cards? Don't worry. I brought company. At least we've we've dealt with two risen reefs now. Next time, your turn. 
toast. All right, so two resin reefs are gone. <laughs> yeah, they are helping out our mill plan. I guess that's true. get our life back. All right, Bond of Insight. Back a bond of insight and a revitalize. All right, so that's Risen Reef number three in the graveyard. Good sign. We can still have Kai's Wrath next turn if we really need to. You know, we have eight mana, we can bond plus Kai's Wrath. No follow-up. Maybe just like some lava coils and lands over there. The old lands and lava coils. Acquisition. Um... Hmm. Is there anything we should acquisition for right now? I think we go get Finale of Revelation, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess I'm three land drops away for Finale of Revelation, though. I could just like gain a bunch of life. It's kind of lame, but I could. It's kind of lame. Let's play this thing. I'm always a step ahead. It's how you play the hand you're dealt. No one likes a bully. Did that just okay. Happen? That's still not the, the worst for us. You know, we trade our Unmored Ego for a couple of burn spells that, you know, like whenever we're at 10, trading for burn spells is perfectly fine.
Wait, I'm going to need that land, don't I? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. No, I don't need this land. All right, Mastermind, uh, Bond of Insight. No, okay, don't lay on the keyboard. Ah, okay. Um. I guess we're at the point of the game where we can just grab Ashiok. Alright, we can do this for 10, right? Yeah. Wow, Nissa and Chandra. Awesome. All right, so they got 20 cards. I got 31. The, the golden egg of winning. Yeah, we found the golden egg. <laughs> that's, the, that's the goal of the deck. Can you find the golden egg? All right, see all those guards. See you later. Nope, cancel. Wrong card. I want to drown Catacomb. This is where Arena struggles. We need to make sure we stay out of Banefire range. Double Bane Fire. They're probably holding like double cast right now in hand. And so we need to make sure that we have. Enough life for like dual cast Bane Fire. Or is it dual cast? Whatever that name of that card is. Uh poor Moldratha. Moldratha so cool. <laughs> That's it, but I couldn't take it. Not my Muldratha. Okay. Price of Betrayal is a good answer to Chandra. Little Chandra. Yeah, no, opponent's definitely not playing double cast Bane Fire, but you never know. They had like 15 cards at that point. We didn't see Krasis, did we? No, I don't think they have Krasis. Trim a Legion's End. Get this Immortal Sun in here. You got it. There you go, team. That's what I was thinking. Sweeper and Immortal Sun. Still not going Settle. Because, like, Risen Reef, you have to kill Risen Reef. Like, you know, you can't just, like, sit back and, like, wait for them to attack. Yeah. Um, I mean, I like I like having four lands. That part's cool. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> well, Ashiok doesn't do anything. It's like, yeah, once you already win the game, like we we'd already won the game. It's like, okay, Ashiok can just speed up the process. It doesn't. Ashiok doesn't actually do anything though.
Yeah, I guess they have Moldratha, but you know, you can just kill Moldratha. Hmm. Cinder Vines is rude. It's just like saying like Moldratha kind of requires a a wrath or something. Hmm. Yeah, we can. Yeah, that's the thing is like we still have the Ashiok in the sideboard of Masterminds acquisition for. We can still acquisition for. Not to brag, but I'm totally the best pirate. Say hi to my fiery friends. Okay, well, I did keep a very slow hand. And we're getting punished for it. Sidorand, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub that support there. That is our first sub goal great. of the day. And our first sub goal towards the next 12 hour stream that we do. We did one last night. And I do one every 20 total sub goals that we hit. So I'll write that down. Get that started. Thanks for the support, everybody. So yeah, it'd be a miracle if we win this. You know, we'll have, pl we'll have planar cleansing for next turn. Like, at the very least, we're going down to one with just casting the planar cleansing. If so, like, if the opponent has nothing, we're going down to one. Say hi to my fiery friends. Okay. I've learned a bunch of new burns. So I guess maybe I need like the other elder spell in three mana. Chandra really is a problem. Dodging to spark and and so much stuff. I know I could I could play price of betrayal, but then price of betrayal doesn't kill. Doesn't kill the big. Planeswalkers. I'd rather have elder spell. Hmm. I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe we could get rid of blue finale. Yeah, we could get rid of Blue Finale. Yeah, that's that's a good that's a good cut. Yeah, yeah, we can get rid of Blue Finale. I think we want the planers with them having Cinder Vines also. Like I think we want just like the ways to you know, Cinder Vines, Planeswalkers. I think we want the the planers. You know they're expensive. So all tap lands, but it's a good hand. Keepable. Keepable foe show, Hawkeye. Hmm.
Darn. That's the perfect hand to not use that there and to wait for Kai's Wrath instead, but that's all right. We'll save us some time. We can wait till after this Omnath to Kai's Wrath. Plus, there's no guarantee that we'd have Kai's Wrath here. Oh, we would have. Um... Build over three different red planeswalkers. That's pretty good. <laughs> Best part of the streams watching me see Red Hawkeye. Yeah, that's that's pretty true. I know Hawkeye is he's just laid here in the way. Hey, come here. You good kitty though. You wanna come stay on my lap? Uh, you won't be in the way. Can we start the show? Look, Hawkeye. All right, what do you think? What do we do? Cast this thing. Cool. That's what I was thinking. What we could do too. It's sweet when it works. We don't whenever we don't get killed right away. Um Let's see. So we play this, we just have to discard. I think I'm just going to pass. Ooh, almost to 9,000. YouTube subscribers, awesome. Y'all are amazing. That's all you guys. Ooh. That's a good card. That's not a good card. All right, we'll save this other opt. We already got a couple of good cards in hand. We don't need to look for anything else right now. More life. Man, our deck's sweet. Rhythm of the Wild. Haste creatures. Oh yeah, definitely. 
Yud has helped that out completely with the amazing thumbnails. So I was thinking about just waiting till the third chapter of Elder of Mirari Con Mirari's conjecture before casting all this stuff. Your opponent's playing four color elementals. I guess I'm gonna have way too many cards in hand. I guess that's a thing. Kind of feel like they have Veil of Summer, right? That seems like something they'd have. They're just sitting with cards in hand. Nope, guess not. Fry, Fry, Omnath? I have way too many cards in hand. We're just going to have to discard a bunch of stuff. <laughs> you couldn't have resisted going on more Ego times four. Uh, that that would have been pretty good. Just double get get the two on more Egos and then double cast them both. All right, that that would have been pretty good. I didn't I didn't think of that. That would have been pretty good. That keeps me from gaining four. That's all that does. So turned Fry into a burn spell. Hey, Jawist. Yeah, we got a spicy deck here. It's a, the slow control deck where you just mill your opponent out. This is a this is a pretty good best of one kind of kind of deck too. It could be maybe slanted a little bit more for aggro in best of one, and then you know you can change up your sideboard. Obviously, you only need one ofs. 
definitely get that second masterminds, at least a second, maybe a third masterminds acquisition in there. Also, but this this could be a tuned best of one deck. Um, Dome's Acuity is a really good best of one card. But yeah, we get Planar Cleansing. This card's been sweet. Whenever we've survived long enough to cast it. That is. <laughs> okay, here's like the, the, the cat purr sound. He's like looking at the speaker. He like turned his head to the speaker. Uh, this is why I shouldn't have played Temple on turn one. Because, like, who knows? Like, this could be great against our opponent, or it could be bad. I should probably wait on Temple. I could have just scried one of our best cards to the bottom. Yep. Legion's End is so broken. Um... No, yeah, Revitalize was not reprinted, so yeah, it'll be rotating out. Alright, so Ashiok out, bringing in a couple sweepers. Um, maybe the finale again, or I guess they they could have like Gideon's. Yeah, they could have like Cyborg Gideon's. Let's keep this Elder Spell in here. <clears throat> could be an Enter the God Eternals. That card's not very like that card's really really bad against God's Willing. Yeah, let's cut one of those. That card's really bad against God's Willing. No, they probably have Gideon's. As far as uh, Elder Spell is concerned. So deck mill, Bond of Insight, and Enter the God Eternals. Oh, I guess Dispark's probably not good, is it? I forgot about Dispark. That one's probably not very good. Well, hopefully we won't draw it in our, you know... 38 turns that we're going to take. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know if they'll have Aurelia. They, there's a good chance there is no four mana or greater, like any target for Dispark. I think we got two pieces of blank cardboard in our deck. Might as well be like a Bobby Benia rookie card. We'll just have shuffled in our deck somewhere. We got two of them. All right, well, we know what we're playing against, so it's a lot a lot easier to play that immediately. Oh, that 
card's so broken. Ooh. Is that card more or less broken than Legion's End? Who knows? Legion then more broken. Should have played Watery Grave, get dubs blue out there. All good though. I think dubs blue because like having double opt or anything, it's fine though. Rude. I have to discard two cards if I opt main phase. So might as well wait. Hopefully they don't have the indestructible spell. Hopefully they just have God's Willing. Sheltering Light. Whoa. Tapping out a white sources besides a druid. Don't get to attack with druid. Stop throwing stuff away. What did you just throw away? Uh, Hako knocked over something. I think a pen. I'll have to find that after stream. Hopefully I don't forget. I got rid of a feather with no a Vikarama. Got rid of a feather with no um, no value. So that's very good. All right, we are four and one. Esper Mill going on to the final boss. <laughs> All cats redecorate. <laughs> That's a good in quotations. They redecorate. Here we go. Final boss playlist. So I guess Wild Growth Walker is scarier for this turn than Llanowar Elf. Nope, Llanowar Elf definitely scarier. Dang it. No, took the wrong one. No, Hawkeye, we took the wrong one. I am Tavio. It is an... 
I know I noted this somewhere. All right, so they're playing Nexus. That was our one loss was a Nexus deck. Yeah, we're playing against Quasi Dupla Reef. Yeah, I've I've played the the deck that we're playing against here. Seek and find. Need to get that land war off. But they've they just drew another land though. Like they've uh, done a very good job of hitting their land drops. Yeah, bolt the bird. Wish we would have done that. Don't think we're winning this. I have learned Too many Risen Reefs. And this really is just Tamiyo. Okay. You can find an answer for Tamiyo. Do I have... Oh, I don't have another white source? No, this would be a perfect planar cleansing time. Oh, this would be perfect planar cleansing. But we have five blue-black lands. I think there's seven blue-black lands in the deck, I think. Maybe even six. We have five of them. Yeah, there's, I think there's only two more, just that Watery Grave Drown Catacomb. Yeah, there's just two more. Dang. Um, Alright, I'm taking it anyway. We gotta just draw a White Source. Come on, deck, you can do it. the tracks of the wise. <laughs> I do think our basic swamp should be a basic plains because of this card. deck. We're not playing like Thought Erasure. It does kind of feel that way. Because this is the not the first game that we've played that we haven't had I white mana. Enough white mana. Helpful. Like earlier we lost the game because we couldn't play Kaya's Wrath. Stop tapping both of my white lands. I could, oh, that, that's what I could have done. I could have grabbed, when I mastermind for the planar cleansing, I could have just grabbed Unmored Ego to name Nexus. 
Could have done that. This one's over, though. Yeah, they get two turns. Yeah, we're not we're not getting another turn. Yeah, all these tokens have three CMC. Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't legion send that those. No, we can't we can't get another turn. It's not possible. Their deck doesn't play interaction. Um, I do like Ashiok more because of Tamiyo, Cavalier, all that kind of stuff, but Ashiok against... Nexus is still not great, but after we end more Digo, we'll keep one Ashiok, keep one over there. Um, 64 here. All right, let's give this a try. Yeah, we could cut Finale. I'm gonna keep it in as, as a card draw spell though. But yeah, we could. All right, keeping and getting rid of Ashiok. I don't know why Hawkeye just wants to sit exactly where I'm trying to look. the weighted on op to be able to pick up acuity I'm sorry Hawkeye you just can't you just can't sit there gotta be able to see Exiled. We can take a hit here. I don't have to worry about like that four life. We can take a hit. I don't need to Kaya's Wrath yet. Plus, we made Planar Cleansing this next turn. Every story is an opportunity for new data. Let me aid your research. All right, hopefully no negate. We 
definitely playing it like they have negate. Um, so do I want to just Wrath right now to try to get negate out of their hand? And they get to activate Tamio again. They could just like put back put Krasis back in their hand and recast Krasis. I mean, do they even negate that? Dang it. They did not have negate. All right, wish I would have cleansing. Hey, Code Junk. With. With. Okay. So they didn't minus again. I, th I thought that was going to be a minus for Krasis. That's what I thought was going to happen there. <laughs> I have learned a little here. All right, got Tammy out of there. That's big. A lot easier to deal the deck without Tamio. Just in general, whenever an opponent doesn't have just a Planeswalker gaining tons of value, it's a lot easier to deal with it. Cycling through the deck. Do, 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 do. Don't mind me. Just going for an afternoon ride. Cycling through the deck. Should kill Druid. I think it should just Kaya's Wrath away the Druid. Bounce one. That was enough for our opponent. Game three. I feel like I don't need Mirari's Conjecture, honestly. I feel like by the time I'm casting Mirari's Conjecture, I probably already won. Let's get this revitalized in here again. Yeah, I kind of want these revitalized. I kind of want that life gaining, especially if you know, they're planning on like Ceratops. They're going to be a little more aggressive. 
Legion's End is just mana creatures. We could get rid of that. I mean, well, no, because they have Krasis. Oh, yeah, Krasis and obviously Wild Growth, too. So maybe I should keep these two. Okay, so that's 62. Um, I don't think I want Immortal Sun. Basically, I don't think I can fit Immortal Sun. Three Elder Spell is a little heavy. Just Tamiyo. We got two Elder Spell, two to Spark. That's good enough. Um, now, last card. Is it... I guess it's Blue Finale. If I'm putting in those Revitalizes, we'll cut the Blue Finale. Okay. Here we go. What's the win con in our deck? Uh, we mill our opponent out. We mill them out. We just completely control the battlefield until they run out of stuff. All right, we'll get rid of Swamp. No, no Teferi. Fairy's lame. No leafkin for you. Dubs, Risen Reef. Should I still just unmoor ego the other? Should I just say Risen Reef? They still have this one. I guess I can mortify this one right now, and then the other one's still just to draw one. Yeah. And then, yeah, we'll Ego Nexus. Okay, well, I don't need to Unward Ego like this turn. We don't need to get rid of Nexus this turn. What I do need to do is not let them draw lots of cards off a of Risen Reef. Weird. So it should be negated here. But I, I'd rather, like, that's fine getting negated because we have Bond of, Bond of Insight. Like, I want that negated. Instead of, I don't want bond negated. What do we hit over here? A couple cavaliers. That's pretty good. We're pretty far behind here. Oh no, the quasi-duplicate. We are really far behind. I should have just led with Ego and then cried. Yeah, I should have just led with Ego, let them counter that, then cry. Narset's Reversal. Uh, this is going to be tough. Beating quasi-duplicate Risen Reef now. Uh, 
Because, of course, they get to draw that other card. Hmm. Yeah, I completely regret that. Well, they tapped that really bad. Oh, they just had another blue source in hand. Doesn't matter. Okay, well... Need to let Cry the Carnarium resolve. Risen Reef is too good. Hopefully we draw another Wrath. That's the thing. We, we do have just tons of Wraths in our deck. Gosh. We do have tons of Wraths in our deck. Alright, so they just have two cards. They got through a ton of cards, though. They have, you know, got through like a bunch of lands. So they have a lot of good draws. Oh come on, another Risen Reef. I, mean, I guess that's only just their third through half their deck. That's the problem card right there. Let us see if your talents are worth cataloging. All right, well I can no Elder Spell Tamio and Contempt One Reef. I will not stand for such violence. Should have just unmoored. Like, honestly, with the, the biggest thing I regret this whole time. <clears throat> turn three. They played Risen Reef. We knew they had the other Risen Reef in hand. I should have just unmoored Ego Risen Reef. Like, they didn't. They wouldn't have had this mana, like, whatsoever. Our life would have been a lot. Because we could, could buy it back. I really should have just. Even though they had the one Reef in play, instead of mortifying the Reef on turn three, I need to just unmoored Ego the Reef. These other Reefs. No, that's that was what I wanted to do. Well, Poto thinks they can what quasi duplicate shifting ceratops. Why are you doing Jade Light Ranger? Why not Reef? I guess they didn't want to mill out. I don't know. Kaya's Wrath wouldn't have saved us because Tamio on top. Tamio grabs Shifting Ceratops. Um, we need to draw like Settle there. Yeah, Ceratops is pro blue. You can't copy Ceratops. It's pro blue. All right, 4-2. Honestly, this deck felt really good. A couple small decisions that we made here and there. And there's a few things about the deck, though. There, we have a, we have some nonsense cards that are shouldn't be in the deck. So as far as... Our, our main deck was pretty good. I liked our main deck. Um, as you all know, I've talked about like Ashiok uh, quite a bit. I think it's pretty worthless. Um... We really need more Masterminds acquisitions. The games that we had that to the games we didn't were a lot different. Um, I'd play a second. I'd play a second one of those. Um, and like Ashiok in the sideboard's fine. Like playing acquisition to find Ashiok, it's actually just fine. I don't mind having two Ashioks in the sideboard, honestly. But it's just not something you need. Game one. But then besides that, all right. So our, our sideboard though needs work. Um, so these are the cards that should not be in the sideboard whatsoever. Price of Betrayal has, like, that's, that's not a, a card you need ever. That Netzahal card is not a card that should be in the deck. Um, 
Bola Citadel. Just, just unnecessary. Like, I mean, I guess like a control mirror, you know, like you can grab Citadel. That's nice. Like same with Immortal Sun. Like these are okay. But like control mirrors, we should be really good. I feel like we're going to, like we have a lot of good card advantage and we mill them out and all that kind of stuff. What I think that we need is like some more like removal, early removal, cheap removal um, in our sideboard. Price of Betrayal is not necessary. And then, yeah, these things, like, I don't even really even like Sacrament. I could, it's, like, just for Mono Red. But we already have, we already have Acuity and, all, and Revitalize. Like, I would rather play, like, another Revitalize than Sacrament. Just, I just don't think that that's a necessary card. Settle gets played around all the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it could could have a planes instead of planes instead of swamp. Um Settle is just really easy to play around. In a world of Kaya's Wrath, and in a world of like Risen Reef and stuff like that, where like these creatures, you need to kill them before they can attack. I wouldn't have settle either. So like we have some room here for some some cheap spells, for cheap removal spells. <clears throat> I do like Legion's End a lot. You know, so thinking about like against like vampires or mono red or you know like that kind of stuff. Um, I wouldn't mind having an extra Legion's End. Should we have Negates? No, probably don't need Negates. Our win con is just is milling our opponent out. You think Settle's great? You think people don't play around it? What if we had... Uh, What's instant speed r removal that I wanted? Because I want... We need, like, some instant speed removal. Like, Disfigure. Moment of Craving. Because I want instance because of Acuity. Cast Down. Yeah, Cast Down. Yes. Give me some Cast Downs. Because that can kill just the green creatures too. That kills Risen Reef. And it's not like a like moment of, playing moment of craving in the Risen Reef matchup is not something you really want to do. Oh yeah, Noxious Grasp. That's the card. Noxious Grasp. Thank you. Definitely want a Noxious Grasp. Yeah, so we get like one cast down, a Noxious Grasp. Like I want I want these kind of cards in the control deck. We're we just had so much expensive stuff. Like like this curve is really high, and then our, our sideboard was just such expensive stuff too. Oh, yeah, I love Noxious Grasp. Tyrant Scorn's a good one. That's a good one, too. Um, so, I think I think I would kind of start with this. Play, you know, play like these cards here. Um... Probably a second Noxious Grasp or a Noxious Grasp main instead of Elder Spell. Um, is that right? We'd struggle with Soren, but if you kill all their creatures, Soren's not that big a deal. We have Planar Cleansing. We have Contempt. I really like Contempt. Would be better to have Noxious Grass main deck than Elder Spell. Maybe not, but I definitely want two Noxious Grass, one Elder Spell for the sideboard. The two finale of Revelation is also kind of overdoing it. I think we could just have like one we could just have one of those cards. I'm not sure if we need a second. Um That's 
kind of a lot. And you know, like, I don't, I'm, I'm not so sold on these Bola Citadel Immortal Sun, but I'm willing to try. I'm willing to try these out. You know, obviously they don't really work that well with plan, planar cleansing, but I'm willing to to try them out uh, some more. I, I would, I would just go with this uh, the next time. But then cards that I'm, you know, like that would be kind of like on the that are on like the watch list are like main deck elder spell main deck finale or cyborg finale or you know like one of those you definitely want one finale but i'm not sure about the second yet but i would keep it keep it with two just you know i want to play the deck some more first uh marari's conjecture not so sure about this card that's on that's on the watch list of maybe leaving um, <clears throat> you replaced Bola Citadel with Kaya, the Planeswalker. Those do different things. Kaya's good against the aggro decks. Where Citadel's good against control. Um, yeah, so, like, those those would be the things that I'd be, uh, you know, wondering about maybe changing. But anyway, we gotta move on. It's getting really late. That that league took forever. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. But thanks for watching some Esper Mill, and I'll see you for the next video.